get my hands on the word on the street. It's a demand on it. Might have think this came from here. I'm from the trench. I got this out the kitchen. This ain't nothing but some boss talk. When I talk, they pay a Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique host. It's your boy ECEO, and I'm here with the lovely official Miss Jamaica. What's going on? Nah, nah, you know, Madame. Hey, man. Say, man, we got a special guest today, man. You know, this guy right here, man. We in the ATL, first ATL. of all, man. Yeah, we yeah. down here hanging out with the best of them, man. You know what I mean? And we ain't rocking with the rest of them. You know what I'm saying? Say, man, we here, man. We got my boy DJ Ace in the building. What's that name? Man, it's so good to be here, man. Good to meet you. Hey, good to see you, meet you. Hey, man, thank you for everything that you've That's done. Blessing, man. I done heard you. You. I didn't hear. I didn't see you behind the scenes. Yeah. You know what I'm saying, and it's dope, man. Just to just to see the way that ATL move, man. You know I what I'm saying. The that. music, man. Y'all appreciate are, that on behalf of ATL, bro. You, know you impact the whole culture down through here, man. <laughs> Y'all, yeah. y'all, y'all, dope people, man. That's what I like. That's why I wanted to come down here. This is the first time we came out the studio, right? Right. We don't never come out the studio. We be in our place in our right. zone. Right. But right, for right. you, we here. You're Definitely. And I want to know what is the recipe for Atlanta? Because a lot of times when we be talking on our show to different entertainers, they always say Atlanta um, entertainers are so together. They do a lot. It's not like. Texas where Houston over here and they rep Houston and this is Dallas and Dallas rep Dallas and they don't really do that much stuff together. It's like, but Atlanta has this recipe where everybody's just doing stuff it's, together. It's, it looked like that. It looks like they respecting each other on a whole right. other level. Well, they just held her back for so long, man. I mean, you know, <laughs> you know, the, uh, you know, West Coast had their time, up North had their time and, you know, they just never gave the South the respect. You know what I mean? They gave they they just never would get the soft the respect. So as far as that, Atlanta just you know when we start doing music and start people start respecting it, it's like okay, well we ain't gonna just let y'all respect it. We gonna kick the door down. Mm -hmm. You know, Atlanta got they beef too where people don't fuck with oh, certain okay. people, people don't mess with certain people. But you know, when it all said in a nutshell. Atlanta get together and just throw a whole big that party every you single see? week. That you know, party. Just and for Dallas Charlotte don't Lord. do that. Texas yeah. period don't do that. Watch and your that's mouth. What, watch your no, mouth. But, you know, okay. Don't get out here and get beside watch yourself. Watch my mouth, but okay, can you tell me when, <laughs> when, when Texas did that? <laughs> We've had our issues, you know, but at okay, the end of I'm the day, fast. a good family gonna fight. Right, you know right, 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 right. <laughs> you know, I mean, like I say, though, we do have our problem and we do have our situation. We just had a situation on the news. They had like a thousand people in the park a lot. Yesterday, somebody well, just got killed. You know wow. what I mean? It, wow. it, it was just yesterday. So don't get me wrong. I ain't just praising us. We do have our ups and we have our downs. You know what I mean? But as far as the music comes and how the music going, that's just what happened in the hoods. As far as the music, man, Atlanta come together in a minute and just go crazy. You know what I mean? Wow. We've been held back for so long, man. Like they would never, they still don't want to get the respect. Like they say, me go mumble rappers. Me go the biggest Boy, I got on them on my show. Yeah. They the biggest group out here right now. Bro, since, I got on them on the my, Beatles. I don't play that, bro. Since I don't play the Beatles. You're not for the talk about wow. it. Nobody from the South, period. But I'm you, not the but, one. I'm not playing that but game. But you feel what I'm saying? I know what they, they say. They still won't get them, man. You know what I mean? They still won't get them they flower. They still won't get them. That's crazy. it. So, so let's let's back up a little bit. I want to know. Hold on, hold on. Don't you just jump in there like that. I, I know what you're trying to do. <laughs> say, man, we want to know who is the, DJ Ace. Who is he? How did he start? What's up before with Before the music. Before all of that, like the young DJ Ace. Before he was DJ Ace. Oh, before I was DJ Ace, man. I was I was a uh, star football player in high school. Wow. I played back when Quincy Carter played. Wow. Quincy Carter was my uh he was my neighbor across the street. Played for the Cowboys. Yeah, played for the Cowboys, man. That smoke, was my hey, he he was smoking that weed though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, we both. <laughs> you know what crazy? I went to see the Grove. He went to Southwest to Cal, and uh, he was supposed to go to see the Grove and be a quarterback. Okay. But he brought a BB gun to school in uh -huh. the uh in like uh, middle school, elementary school. And my daddy, he lived with his mom. Okay. He was here with his mom. So my dad, you know, went to court with him and basically acted as a lawyer for him or whatever. Wow. So I think in the end, he just couldn't go to his home school. He ended up going to Southwest to Cal. His okay. homeschool with Cedar Grove. It was a blessing for me because I was able to go to Cedar Grove and start as a ninth grader. You used to run that ball, mean? didn't you? Yeah. The, I already know. Nah, what I was position? A quarterback. I was a quarterback. You quarterback? Wow. Yeah, but I was ranked. I was ranked number one and number three in the county, five in the state. But I was ranked in rushing and passing yard. You must wow. have been fast. Rush, yeah, 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 but yeah, he built fast. up like a running back. Yeah. So he can do both. Yeah, man. That's so dope. I, yeah, I started playing football, man. But... At the same time with that, we all played Gresham Paul. Everybody played at Gresham Paul. Me, Quincy, Felix, all them from Southwest to Cal. Um, 
at the same time, I was racing dirt bikes. Okay. My, yeah, my dad had me big and racing Very dirt bikes. Very active. I, yeah, I, we had sponsors, WD-40, wow. Troy Helmet. WD-40, yeah. yeah. We had different sponsors. We was racing all up in like Florida, California, Tennessee, and all the big AMA mm -hmm. like they do in the stadiums now. So anything so, you touch turned to gold. You you did very well. I ain't well gonna in. say that, but my daddy kept us active. I ain't gonna lie, he kept us active. How many of y'all were there? It's three. I got a little sister too, and she re, she even raced dirt bikes. Wow, yeah. wow, wow, that's so, dope. I know you like that. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> so was your mom in your life? Yeah, my mom. Yeah, my, yeah, yeah. My mom lived with us all us together. My mom and my daddy had their own band though. We wow. had a live so, band. My daddy was the, the drummer. Music so that's where the music in. came from. My daddy was the drummer. My mama was the lead singer. When I was about ten, uh, when A Town Players came out, I yeah, know, yeah, A yeah. Town dropping all that. Yeah, kids around. Yeah. My brother was one of the dancers. Okay, mm. he was doing all the cranking and stuff. So mm -hmm. as I'm about ten, eleven, I think I was like twelve years old. Man, I woke up one morning and one of the dancers couldn't go on tour with a town so you players. had to do it my dad my brother asked my dad and my daddy said hell no nah, boy boy 12 years old he finna go on no road so you're the youngest no nah, i got a little sister too okay. in the middle so i'm like 12 they asked me to go and at, you did it and the show was with 95 south Wow. Tag team. Whoa. All of them had you know, one school, nigga. You hit, right. you hit them juggler bands. It was like all of them. Yeah, yeah. It was at the Miami Hurricane Stadium down yeah. there, you know, in Miami. So my daddy said, yeah, he let me do it. That don't let nothing happen to him. Did you freeze? Oh, oh no, nah, I was ready for it. I was ready. <laughs> Shit. I was ready. I couldn't wait to do this, man. I was ready. Put me on a plane. We flew down there. And this crazy because I was young. This at the time when you ain't had to have no ID. So okay. I flew yeah, on his I name. remember those. Yeah, I yeah. Flew yeah. On I his name. I'm That's the way it used to be. I was no, yeah. But hold on. Old. You remember the days when kids was half price? Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yeah. Right I remember yep. that when I'm I was yeah. Man, we get on the plane, I'm riding limos wow. and all that. That's why, that why I first learned how to smoke weed. Shout out wow. to Monet Kids and Play a Pancho. <laughs> <laughs> 12 years old. Yeah, I used to steal my daddy. They got me so in Miami. Yeah, yeah, early on. Yeah, yeah, man. So when you went on that stage and that feeling that you got, is that a time when you like, man, this is what I want to do? That was what I wanted to do, but I wanted to rap. I wanted to do. Like it would, I saw thousands and th like at least 20, 30,000 people out here. Mind you, Whoop There It Is was the biggest song. Yeah, it was. All three of the artists with Whoop There It Is is on that show, mm -hmm. along with other people like mm -hmm. Luke and other folk. And it's in the Miami Hurricane Stadium. And I'm like, man. So I'm dancing though. I'm cranking it. Whoa, do all that. I yeah, 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 yeah. You rock out. But as I came back to, you know, back to Atlanta, and I'm watching Kids Rock DJ, I'm watching Raheem the Dream, I'm do shows. I'm like, man, I want to rap. I like how one person is controlling thousands of people. Mm -hmm. They can say, put your hands up, and a thousand everybody, people hands mm -hmm. up. They can say, shut up, and everybody be sure. quiet. Everybody get your phones out. I was like, damn, but Good I ain't job. know how to rap. So I put it into a DJ's perspective. I started DJing like after the football games, I would DJ the basketball games at school. And I started doing house parties on the east side. It was about Did you nine. buy your own equipment? No, my daddy had his own band. Yeah, so that, that's when they how wasn't doing right. nothing, if I wasn't running the side, I was just taking their speakers. I was doing the basketball game for like fifty dollars a game. Mm -hmm. Then my little cousin, he got, oh, he locked up. He got three life plus twenty five. He yeah. be my little host. Talk about him. So we used to go to different little little bowling out little clubs. We would charge him like fifty seventy five dollars. He the host. I'm the DJ. I don't know. I talk on the mic. He talk on the mic. I host. And we would get little gigs, $75 and split it, you know what I mean? Through the house party. But the house party started to get to the point where they started getting shot up back in wow. like 95. I'm yeah. young, I ain't too, I'm too young mm. for this shit. Yeah. So I moved to Clayton County out there with my mom in 96. And then that's when I met the neighborhoods of Ellenwood and John Lake. Met everybody from like Rex Road, Mount Zion, uh, like people like Granddaddy Southside. Tricky Dollar was my one of the first. How old were you at this time? Oh uh, shit, I'm about 18, about 16. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Because that was all the way to the yeah. yeah, I'm about 17 right now. And was I'm, your cousin with you even at that time? He was in and out of prison, well, in and out of jail. He okay. been in and out of jail since seventh grade. He wow. dropped out of school in seventh grade. But wow. This your dad, first cousin? Yeah, they're my first cousin. Yeah. They're my daddy's brother. Yeah. So me and my daddy took him in like, I even moved in the house with them to help him stay out of trouble. You yeah. know what I mean? All through my high school. Just Be that trying. positive influence in his life. Yeah, yeah. And I think when I left, when I left and went to Clayton County, I left him out there by himself. He and just went haywire. Yeah, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. 
Because you, you say he that never he killed was, nobody. He got three life plus twenty five for kicking in doors. That don't crazy. make sense, man. He never shot nobody. That never got sense, beat. But he beat up people. He ain't never beat nobody. No, else. he's because, just kicking in doors. But that's kicking it. down doors. That's what, if, evasion. It's not. It's not. Um, well, they charge you for everybody in the house too. Yeah, yeah. But it's not abuse. But it's him, not. But he was a. Uh, I guess they gave what they say the three strikes a, a habitual offender. Oh, no. But they gave him through like he ain't never killed nobody, never shot nobody. He ain't never. He ain't got no violent record. That don't Do you make think sense. it's the lawyer? Because sometimes if you have a really good lawyer, he I hear really you can't have no lawyer that day. That's why. That's that's it right there. Now he say he got like nine hundred thousand in the account that he's sitting in prison. He been in prison since he about thirty now. He probably been that bitch. He was seventeen man. But wow. he can he still appeal it now or no? It's not. Too late. No. It's too late now. Yeah, yeah. It's so, okay, you said that he was your voice and because you didn't like to talk. Yeah, he, so was the, he, since, he talked on the mic and we just right, spent the money. But since he's gone, you had to speak. Yeah, so that what came out. I, I used like, like I say, I used I used to watch, I DJ T.I. When T.I. first came out, remember when he came out with I'm Serious? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I DJ and my daddy ran the sound. That's okay. how I got that show. So okay. you know the old saying, if you know somebody, you can get in the game. Mm-hmm. My daddy was a sound man down in Athens, Georgia, at this club called the Gator Mouth or something like that. Down with the George Bulldogs. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Uh what's the white boy? Uh the fat, the fat white boy used to be out. I don't forget, man. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Ugly or something. Mm-hmm. So, oh know. yeah, yeah, I know the fat you know white boy you talking about. The white boy, the, 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 the country white boy. He was with uh, who was he with? He was doing Bubba Sparks. Sparks. Bubba Sparks. Sparks. That's him. Exactly. <laughs> Bubba Sparks. He just exactly. came out. Yeah, I was a young nigga, man, and um, Collin yeah. Park. Was that yep. nigga from Bobby? Yep. Park. Yep. Bubba he Sparks. Sang, yep. He he was there with his release party, but it was Ti singing release party, and I just happened to since my daddy ran the sound, I was the DJ for it. Okay. You know what I mean? That's when I'm out here in Clayton County now. I'm out here getting big shows. I'm yeah. Like, but my first, that was one of my biggest shows. Like, I'm like, man, I'm out here with- They feeling you. Yeah. So then uh, all the way down to where um, I started doing high school high school parties, mm-hmm. house parties in Clayton County. Wow. They started getting too big. Like, the houses weren't big enough. Yeah. You know? So Kids of Rock was getting skating rings, man. He started getting skating rings and he would get like, Yin Yang Twins was yeah. his folk. Smurf okay. for all them was his personal folk. Sammy Sam. And I was the DJ for that. Wow. But mind you, it was my daddy's sound system. I was the DJ. It was my flyers. I would wake up, get somebody to make the flyers, go to the rent office where my mama lived in Clayton mm-hmm. County, run all the flyers off in the rent office. We would go to the schools, pass all the flyers out in all the schools. I ain't, I ain't but like 17, 18. I'm out here riding around, patting flies out and everything. Wow. Shot my boy kids and rock, I fuck with you, but he would charge me, he would give me 150 for all this. Oh. So I sat back with my partner one day, I was like, bro, I'm getting $150 and I'm doing all, all the work. All the work. It's my daddy's speakers. I'm the <laughs> DJ. I'm pressing up the flyers. I'm paying, now nah, he paid for the fly. He paid for the paper from Walmart. But we <laughs> ran them off and then we go to the schools and we put these flies out and all the money and all the money go to to them and he break us off. Wow. I said, dog, I ain't going back. I ain't doing it no more. I you said, done. done. I said, I, I Did just- Did you tell him or you ain't tell him? I ain't tell him. I ain't say done that. with it. I'm done. I said, bro, let's go find our own. So we went riding around one day and we found that one skate ring and the skate ring say, uh, we went to Old National. They say, well, we don't do parties over here, but we know somebody who will. Mm-hmm. Send us over to Far Park. We were like, cool. We went over to Far Park, got Far Park skating ring, and the man was like, I would love to do that. Wow. You talking about something for the kids. Wow. I would love to do that. Was, so he gave us an opportunity, man, and the first show I ever did was Thug Nation. Okay. Mm-hmm. Saying that, Thug Life, mm-hmm. Thug Life. Yeah, but I didn't know how to book shows. So when I did the Thug Life, I just put them on the flyer. Yeah. Put them on the fly. They call me like, bro, you put us on this fly. We're supposed to get paid. And I'm like, supposed to get paid by who? <laughs> he was like, you supposed to pay us. Y'all put us on that fly. We're supposed to get paid. And I'm like, well, shh. Bro, I ain't know nothing about that. I just thought you put, put some on the fly oh, and get man. paid. Yeah, yeah. So he said, I tell you what, man, I'm going to come on out and do the show. Just make sure we get paid. The show went so big, I ended up giving them that money and paying them that night for a second show. Wow. So that was my first two shows that I ever did. My third show was Pastor Troy. It was That's Christmas. Cool. It was Christmas. I never forget. It was Christmas, man. It was December the twenty some Christmas Eve. Uh, it was iced up. Pastor Troy was huge. Talking about Master oh, yeah, P. Yeah, I know. Yeah, but he named him Master P. No more playing yeah. GA. The only yeah. song he, he had, the vice, the, uh, not not vice versa, the Ronda. Yeah, yeah, Ronda, yeah, yeah, going yeah. crazy, man. Yeah. So 
I wanted to book Pastor Troy. I'm a young nigga, man. I'm like, I don't know how I'm going to do this. I just went through it with the nation. I was about to ask you that, so too. So I just took right a chance. It. I just took a chance and called the number, man, and somebody was talking to me real fast. I had a feeling it was, it was Troy, but I ain't know. But to this day, I know it was him, but I know how he <laughs> talk. You know what I mean? So we set it up, man. He charged me 2500 back then. And I was scared of it. And I was like, man, what if I don't make it? He That's it. I'm looking for it. Yeah. Dog, it was iced up. The streets was ice. The school was closed because the streets was ice. Man, Pastor Troy came through and everything, performed like the whole album, everything for them high school. Man, that might have set me off for life. I ain't gonna wow. lie. He did that, dog. Like the whole Clayton County looked at me as like, that's our DJ. Wow. Mind you, I'm doing all the house parties. I'm with Illawood and Judd Lake. I'm with Mount Zion. I'm with Rex Roll and all of them coming to everything I do. So as that, now people starting to rap. Coming out the east side, mm -hmm. you no know, Gucci got the black. Yeah, team. that's why I was about to ask you. Like, how did, how did? I know you're saying people starting to rap, but there was mm -hmm. a relationship between you and Gucci and Walker and them. Like, right? Like how, well, how did me and Gucci? Okay, no Walker. Okay, so so when you and how did you end up linking up with Gucci? I've been knowing Gucci since like third, fourth grade. Oh, so y'all, it's yeah, it's I genuine. Know, yeah, Gucci from the east side, even like Tricky Dollar. I know him. I okay, know Tricky from the east side. I know Gucci since third. Fourth grade, Gucci know the first girl I ever had, uh, and you know what I'm talking about. Young so, girl, uh, so was it yeah. was it like 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 the first to my virginity? There you go. There you go. How, how did how did y'all how did y'all end up you being the DJ to you know rock? I with seen it? Gucci after some years after um, I'm out here in Clayton County. They had a club called Club One Twelve. Okay, mm -hmm. I remember back that. in the day out there on Chester Bridge Road. Mm -hmm. Club called Club One Twelve, man. And, uh, Gucci at the time, Gucci had black teeth. Yeah, yeah. My daddy was the sound man that once daddy, again. Your daddy Your daddy be plugging you in all man. the time. My daddy was running the sound for for the DJ. He would, mind you, the club got their own sound system. Mm -hmm. So they don't need my daddy. But my daddy just so respected out here from sound system. Every club. Is he still doing it now? Yeah, still doing it now. A church pay him 1500 a Sunday for running their sound. Wow. How old is your daddy? My dad like 65. He's hanging he's in young. there. He's still young. He rocking. He rocking, yeah, man. man. I got to call him. Too. And his birthday July 11th. Mine July 12th. Oh, y'all oh, wow. something else, yeah. man. Y'all Kansas. Yeah, yeah. Y'all yeah. something yeah, else, yeah. man. So uh, we in 112, man. And Gucci come up to me. Gucci said, Corey Crane. <laughs> Yo, your old name, no? I said, what? <laughs> Boy, what's up? What the hell you doing here? He said, well, what you doing here? <clears throat> I said, you know, I'm DJing. That's my daddy system. What you doing here? He's a nigga I rock. Black team, my wow. song. I was like, dang, I ain't know that. Yo, so I know you was on it, but it was like, boy, come on man, with that bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, boy, that's my shit, boy. So I was not talking. I'm like, Gucci been rapping, though. He had different songs. Yeah. Like, Gucci got songs before the end with Sign Yourself that we did, but I didn't know he was rapping, rapping. Yeah. Everybody can rap. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. But mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. rapping for real. Mm -hmm. I can't rap. I'm just, I'm, I'm just saying. <laughs> saying it's a known thing when a person everybody want to be a rapper yeah, too yeah, everybody everybody right, but, but, but he told yeah. you, you, you but you didn't but know Black that T was did. actually buzzing Black T, no, don't. Yeah, it was. Black T was buzzing look man I'm a he Gucci didn't fan, have a remix so at look. this time no do with the original Black T yeah. with them never again niggas over there yeah. on, on got them Gresham Road and still fuck with them to this day wow. so uh, he was like yeah man he was like man let's do some shows but I can't wait to do some shows <laughs> man that's what I'm just piping myself up so bet. So it was a blessing to me because everything keep falling in place. Now, mind you, Franchise Boy had the white teeth. They do. They, they definitely had the white teeth. Throwback Boy had the yup in my throwbacks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yep. CEO is my partner. He paid me 10000 Shout out to Kente, man. Money making record. He paid me 10000 to promote the Throwback Boy. Wow. Came. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, man, I need you to pr promote this song, this Throwback Boy, yup in my throwback shit. So I promoted that. I had the white tee from Franchise Boy, could parlay them my partners. Yeah, parlay And then them. Gucci, I went to school with him. So I'm out here throwing shows with the, all the white tee versus the black tee versus white tee versus you up in my throwback. Man, this whole thing was jumping called, off back then, too. The guy called Chevy Ali came up with a uh, you up in my something. I forgot. So I had him added on. So now I got this whole campaign going. I'm taking it everywhere. We take it to Old National. I hooked up with Raheem the Dream. Mm -hmm. We got shows over there. They went shot a low first off. Yeah, right. yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm about to bring him into it because Old you had that, that, that laugh and tap and all that stuff was man, going on during the time you're talking about. Shout out to Low. It just came out, man. I'm taking these shows everywhere. 
So I, I would DJ in a little spot on Terra Boulevard in Clayton County. It was called J. Paul's. And this at the time with the red Deshaun was... Um, Man, you messed me up with that one earlier when you said that offline. Man, what did we, like, he had another name. Man, he had five, five different names. names. <laughs> <He's> like, <laughs> it take I whatever it takes to get on. Man, we don't went through so much, but everybody wanted to rap. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I ended up finding this spot. My daddy was running sound over on 20 grand. I was DJing, I was DJing the club called J. Paul doing artist there, but I wanted a bigger spot. Yeah. I'm taking this white tea thing, black tea thing to different spots. And I wanted to make some money. So my daddy got 20 grand on Old National. It was a two-side club. It was a concert hall side, and it was a club side. And uh, I came up with the plan to do Gucci, Pastor Troy, Kaya, all on one show. They ain't never seen, ain't nobody ever seen, Kaya was huge too. Yeah, I Kaya remember was, her too. At that time, Kaya was huge. Yeah, yeah. Pastor Troy was huge, Gucci was huge. And nobody ever seen that before happening on one show. And you didn't see all this stuff even coming together like this before that, when he had, he had brought Pastor Troy for that first time. You didn't no, know all I like that. doing stuff that nobody's ever but, but, seen. But when you first done, done it, though, like this, you know already it's just an act of God for all this to come together full yeah. circle like that. Yeah, and, and mind you, I ain't got no sound man. My dad the sound man. Mm -hmm. It's on. So all the security is my own security from my from, from the club I was DJing at over on uh, Terra Boulevard. See what so I'm I saying? just brought my whole campaign. I did the promotion myself. And I had one investor shot, my boy Ricky D. He gave me the money for that. We did that like small. We did that like $5,000 total. Maybe seven, made like 20. Wow. So I wanted to test the waters. I, now I just did a big spot. I did the high school for the skating rings. I done did all that. I did the 20 grand with, mm -hmm. the, with the black tee, Gucci, um, with the, with the um, Pastor Troy Kaya. I wanted to test the waters out. Gucci come to me one day and Gucci say, bro, you people don't know about my new music. <laughs> I said, what? What new music? But he make it so much, he fast with it, man. He can go. He, he goes he so hard fast. Working. That nigga worked but hard, this the thing, bro. Though, he had already been working this. In the midst of, I'm still promoting black tea. And white tea. And white tea, and I'm promoting the jumping my throwback with throwback bars for Kente. Mm -hmm. He already got this in motion. He come to me one day and say, bro, you don't know nothing about my new music, do you? Wow. I said, by what new music? He said, my song with Jesus. I don't know who the hell Jesus is. <laughs> I said, with Jesus? He said, bro, don't even worry about it. He said, come to my show Tuesday night. This, after I just did that big ass show. Yeah, okay? yeah. Come to my show, I think it was that, uh, it was across from Vision, it may have been the Velvet Room downtown yeah. somewhere. I go to this show, man, everybody in all white. Everybody. Trina there, she in all white. Jesus there, he in all white. BMF there, they in all white. All white. Gucci, we pull up, Gucci in all white. Gucci whole click in all white. We all in all white, and I'm tripping. I'm like, dang. Okay, now just another party. Gucci said, why there? So later on, out now, we party, we chilling, popping bottles. That song, So Icy, come on. The whole club went absolutely crazy. Everybody, PML throwing bottles, everybody, I mean, throwing money, they popping bottles. Wow. Gucci got, Gucci rapping, everybody, Jeezy, they having a good time together. This is the first time you ever see Jeezy and Gucci on stage together. Wow. This would be first the, time. This would be the first and only time yep. you see Gucci right. and Jeezy on stage together. And That's, you was there. And I was there. So I got in my mind, I went back to my, uh, my investor. I said, bro, I got, I think I got. Jeezy and Gucci together. I got a hot song that I know we can make a killing off of. I was like, they got Jesus supposed to have a hot name. If we can get him, I got Gucci. And we could do that on one show. And we'd be, we'll, we'll make a killing. He said, Jeezy. He said, I mess with those guys. Come to find out, him and Coach K partners. Wow. Yeah, Coach K, Coach K was managing back then. Riga D. Him and Coach K partners. Mm -hmm. I'm Gucci's DJ and road manager. Big Cat and them, Jacob, they doing the managing. I'm doing the road man. I do all the bookings. Gucci told Big Cat and them, if Ace don't sign my contract for doing my paid show, I ain't doing the show. Wow. They did the radio bookings. I did the paid bookings. I did all the features and all that. So, wow. Cool. I said, bet. So I went ahead and set it up with Gucci. And I said, Rick, if you can get Jeezy on this show, I went through Gucci first and let Gucci do it. But I didn't know Rick 
was like this with Coach. Mm -hmm. It just made everything fall in place. Wow. So I got the only show in history until they do this big stage together. Yeah, yeah. Well, Gucci and Jeezy on stage together. They got it on video and everything. I threw it in that 20 grand concert hall we had about. Wow. Bro, it had to be about 10,000 people in there. Wow. Club, man. It was wall to wall. And then in the end, you know, they was already back and forth. Not, it wasn't no beef at that time. Yeah. But all G's and them car got broken too. Uh. When they got there, you know, they're in the hood. Okay. They done told G's and them to park in the back of the goddamn club. Okay. Mind you, we on old Nat. Wow. Crip City. So they on, yeah. Man, they went and went through, photo went through all the cars or something, photo went through, got, got, um, got their guns, got their money and shit. So I guess they thought yeah, we okay. had something to do mm -hmm. with it. Yeah. Mind you, I'm driving Gucci's van. Mm -hmm. I'm driving the van and everything. Are well, you giving up detail? Because I never heard this story. Mm -mm. Don't nobody I, know. Yeah. Jesus and I'm surrounded me, man. Jesus, all the security and everything. My daddy in the club with a 38 special. That 38 revolver. Hey. That old school. <laughs> That's old school. Man. They surround me and I don't know what they surrounded me for until so somebody come and told me, bro, they, they broken all G's in them cars. Wow. And I'm like, what? And nobody else's cars, but just theirs. Everything they parked in the back. Because the all of their was. Yeah, yeah, I'm in here running the show. And now, this before <clears> any other, any all other stuff happened. This before everything happened. This, thing, this was like the beginning of the, this was like the kickoff. Okay. Because G's and them felt like G's and them, that Gucci and them set them up. Wow. When that wasn't the case. Yeah. Gucci knew me or Gucci, nobody knew nothing about that. Yeah. You know what I mean? It just fell that way. It just fell. But the people who the, the people who worked the parking lot, they worked for the club. They parked them in the back. Wow. We didn't know none of this shit. Parking lot, he was, it was a big, you know, the Walmart on Old National. Yeah, that yeah. was the club. So they basically. That was the you club. Think, was they, well, we don't know, you know, but the, those guys to park them in the back like they that. They could have been the one. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah, but it left me vulnerable because in the end. You I'm over like, everything. Everything was me. Right. Yeah. It I'm driving the Gucci van. They know I'm Gucci DJ. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, it falls back yeah. on you regardless. No yeah. matter what. Yeah, so, you know, in the end. So when they surrounded you, how did you get out of that? Man, I sat back. And I think my, when my daddy came over there, I think that kind of did kind of sell. Mm -hmm. But I had my security too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My security that worked for me came in and they was like trying to see what was going on. And they never touched me or nothing. Jesus and them said, it was just a big circle. And I'm in the middle like this microphone. I'm standing there watching all this security around me and everything. You know what I mean? I know they got something on them because niggas holding their pants and yeah. shit. But in the end, you know, everything got squashed. But like I said, I think that was the beginning of a long journey right there. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? I yeah. mean, man, we used to go on the road with AR-15s in the bags. Yeah. We going to shows and we taking six, it's me, Gucci, and two security guards. We got six guns. Wow. You know, when you got a license, you can take up the yes, three sir. guns on yes, the plane. Sir. Yes, sir. All right, so it's security. Well, you got, hold on, when you have a license, you can do what? You can take up the three, three, guns. three, three or four guns on the plane. Oh, I didn't know that. With a gun license. Okay, I got, I got Man, it. Man, hey, we all strapped. She said, I got you. I got it. That's yeah. all I need to yeah, know. It had to be, though, because this was a hard time. Bro. Yeah, it was we serious. We talking, this is serious, bro. Yeah, man. It was to the point where we had Gucci doing shows and bulletproof vests. Wow. Mm -hmm. Let me bring you up to, like, like today's time. How do you feel about where the music is today in, in Atlanta, like, versus back then? Because you've seen it all. Oh, I'm talking about all since my dad and them was doing yeah. live band stuff. I mean, I feel good about it, man. You do? I feel good about it now because people are able to make make money off the internet and, you know, and, and, uh, make their career off the internet, off, off the press of a button versus having to drive. Okay. i never forget, Bigger Rankin to tell you, shout out to Bigger Rankin. When OJ the Juice first came mm -hmm. out, I drove, we didn't have no internet. Wow. We didn't have no emailing. So I had to drive that I'm um, getting mine and yeah, I, yeah, 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 yeah. I drove it. I drove the CD down to Bigger Rankings in the snow. In the snow, October, Halloween, man. Bigger Rankin tell you tell people all the time. Wow. And I drove it down now. I went down there. Hey, Bigger, man, I got that new auto, OJ the Juice. He ain't know who the hell he was. <laughs> Bigger wouldn't even play that shit. He would <laughs> He wouldn't even, he loved my death now. He like, boy, I got you, Ace, I got you, I got you, Ace, I got you. I'm like, Bigger, man, you got to drop my boy shit, man. It's OJ the Juice, he was Gucci. He don't even know. He was Gucci. He like, man, I got you, just hold on. So I held on for a while. You know, Bigger did me like anybody else. He held me, made me wait about an hour 
I'm feeling like, nigga, I didn't drove six hours, drop this bitch now. Man, um, <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? Yeah. But you know, I respected it, you know, and then, cause that's what we would have did up here. Yeah. Like, you ain't gonna get what you want with you. On the, we in our mix right now. Oh, you really? feel what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. He ended up playing later on, man. I'd be damned if a couple months later, we up in Atlanta. I'm over Deb house. Somebody come knock on the door. And, uh, say, hey, go open the door for me. I go open the door. Hey, bigger ranking. Bigger, what's up, bigger? What the hell you got going on, man? Guess what you were coming up to an hour to talk about? OJ, OJ the, the Juice. Juice. Mm. It, it, it only makes you know sense. What I'm so like I say, man, back then, man, there wasn't no internet. Now you ain't got to drive six hours. Yeah. You drive six hours to go network. Wow. Now you can just press a button. Exactly. Now you can go do your video and you can upload it on YouTube, man. You can go do a video right now in the parking lot and you can upload it on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I mean, what a Go ahead. I, what I, I, I wanted, was about to ask. Yeah. I got to get a what, question out. What I wanted to know, okay, in all the categories of entertainment, so you have your videography, you, uh, you have your producers, engineer, your artist, your DJ. Right. All of them at the top of their game have all their business together. Who makes the most money? Kind <laughs> of who makes the best, best deal. No, no, no. I'm just saying, it's all of them on the You're top right of their game. It. All at the top of their game. All of them have their business, their lawyers, their contracts, everything set. What category can make the most money? If the artists don't get messed over, the the, the artists, the artists and the CEO should make the most money. But you know, it, it ended up happening. Game when, crazy, ain't it? Yeah, but the game is so crazy <laughs> that you know your management has set it up to where they making you know a bigger percentage than what they're supposed to be making. That's right, and that's why you get artists to sit back and they change their management and all that. You know, years down the line, I've never signed a contract with nobody I've been with. Wow. Ever. Nobody. And the Walker, OJ, the Juice, none of the only contracts I've signed and when people finna pay me five and ten thousand for promo. Them the contracts I signed. But wow. as far as the artists, I never signed a contract. People say me I'm stupid. They tell me I'm stupid for it. Cause I could be getting way more money and all that. And I just feel like, you know, when it's time for me and a real artist to sit down and sign a contract and we get to that, then cool. But in the end, it's like the artist the artist is the CEO. If the artist stop mm -hmm. rapping, the whole project is over with. That's why I left the road with Gucci because he kept getting locked up. These days, <laughs> man, what God help for you, man, it's coming to you anyway. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, you know, I always say that, man. Period. I always say that I don't look for nothing. Like Shout, I didn't ask Shout for not one dollar. But yeah. pay me 2500 for that first make take. I yeah. didn't ask him for a dollar. Just I just said, let's do it. it. Then he came, hey boy, I got a show to do. I need you to play three songs. Then he turned around and gave me a stack. I'm like, man, I ain't asking for this. You know what I'm saying? It just keep coming to me. But you know, the artist, the artist and the CEO man is supposed to be the top of that dollar, man. But you got these managers out here. You got these these cricket accountants, you know, doing their thing to where they making more money than the artist making, or just as much money as the artist making. For sure, man. So give me top three artists of all time. We do Dead this or alive. Dead all or alive. Time. Top three. Any genre. Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson. Okay. We can Future. 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 And Gooch. Man, that was quick. You That's know what quick. That? I think you beat the <laughs> yeah, already know. You are the You're probably quickest the quickest one to ever do that, man. Ever everybody sick, be man. kidding. Michael man, Jackson I just did a rap a lot of people and everybody. They, they, they be, oh. Um, um, yeah, you did that. Quick. Hey, man. So, why, so what do you think? Uh, so, so when it comes to, why Mike? Why number one? Man, Mike did everything, man. Mike did the dancing. Mike did the singing. Mike did the concerts. Mike did the sold out concerts. Mike do. Mike set the stages for Jay Z when they say, "Oh, oh, Jay Z, the legend and all that." Man, Mike set that off, man. Wow. All this dancing, everything, mm -hmm. doing they dancing, they doing the dancing that Mike did. Wow. And Mike you know can I mean? touch somebody and they faint. Huh? <laughs> yes. Mike can put his hand out the window. For real, you, man. Can, you don't have. Has anybody in rap ever had that impact? No, not yet. Where, no, but Future, Future. If I ain't gonna lie. If it wasn't no Mike, Future would be, man. He'd be the, be the one. Future would be the one. Future going crazy. Now, oh, little Baby, little Baby making the money. That's, baby. Baby. That's, that's, that's who we have number ones a lot. Oh. Yeah, a little baby number one because he hot right now. I'm That's just it. talking about all around. See, people ain't giving them respect to who already been out. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? With Gucci, Gucci really came from them trenches. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Gucci really came from selling dope and going and robbing nigga. I'm talking about nigga. But Gucci done robbed somebody and sitting in 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 uh, Blaze with him, and reinvented himself and still yeah, on top. Yeah, so and 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 rapping about it, and right. ain't scared to go in the street and hey and say hey how you doing? Yeah, I robbed you last week, man. <laughs> man, I'm trying to tell you. Hey, hey, hey so um, I, we winding down now. So yeah. um, where can people get a hold of you? How can people find you? 
four four seven two three six four four nine of the real DJ Ace, man. I don't care how much money I make, man. I'm gay. Everything the real way to go the way. I got an assistant and all that, man. But yeah, I'm straight about to come talk to me personally. Man. I like that. Man. You can talk to me about business that assistant and a and a and a um purposes, you know, they really can't get to the bottom of it. But talk, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? If I need to sing it, I sing it up. But as far as me, just go straight with me, man. My Instagram, the real. They they call me country, so they say I'm saying the real. Yeah. But it's T H E R E A L D J A C E, man. Already, man. Thank you so much, man. We love you, brother. Oh, and man. um, hey man, um, this has been another great segment of Boss Talk 101. And Boss yeah. is on it.